Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Elf and Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom, so yeah, we're back. We're gonna be doing something pretty good here, so quick quick first things first. Um uh, currently I think I'm gonna be showing you a not a time lapse, it's just double speed. But it's just collecting some daily rewards and yesterday's um wish tree rewards. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Because, if you notice, by the end of that, we actually have enough for the clock tower. So, if we look here, well, also, looking at this, we may need to expand our storage again, because our storage is getting very, very full. But if you look here, so I sort of stopped doing wood because I was getting way too much of it. James was actually, James and jelly beans were actually the hardest ones, the ones I was lacking in, I suppose, in resources. But... Yeah, if we look here, thanks to those little boosts, we have five or four pillars, so... And we also have 111,000 coins, that helps too. We are building the all helpful, or at least I think it's going to be really helpful, TikTok clock tower increasing, or decreasing production time by 1%. Yeah, it doesn't do that much, but it's really cool looking too. Where can I place it? Is there really no room for it? Okay, apparently I have to move some things around first. Um, layout. Move you over here. Move you over there. And now, hopefully we can actually build the thing. Build, decor, TikTok tower. Can we, can we build it now, please? There's a rock in the way. There's literally a rock in the way. But as you can see, we actually have a new cookie as well. But I wanted to start off building the TikTok tower. But this is being very difficult to place because it's so, so big. Okay. Move. The, can we move the thing? There. Okay. Cool. This is really expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's going to be cool. I'm excited to have it. It's 10 seconds, so I'm not going to skip anything crazy like that. What's it going to be? Well, I know what it's going to be, but... Okay, that actually looks really cool. You can upgrade it! I'm going to do that. Why not? Um, I'm going to collect some more wood. We don't have too much stuff here. And then we have... I don't mean to do that. Collect... Nope. Did we already collect this stuff? Maybe we already collected this stuff. Whatever. I'm going to make some more jams and jelly beans, because those are the only things that we really need right now, to be perfectly honest. Um, and then let's just get our daily rewards. We have some event things, 30 gems, some XP things, and this is for more friends, because more of you guys sent me some friend requests, which is always great. Are we missing something? Oh, gift month. 10,000 coins. Working towards upgrading the epic. That's where we got her, by the way. The epic, um, snowflake? Yeah, I think it's snow snowflake cookie. Sugar, snow sugar cookie? Alright, let's take a look. She is... Snow Sugar Cookie, yeah, pretty cool. So we're gonna get her to level, um, well, pretty high. I am now level 11. I think that happened while we were doing, um, what was I gonna say? That just happened while I was collecting resources and things. Okay, up to level 2. Can't upgrade it. Oh, you can. It's probably limited based off other things, though, but 2 of 10, I'm sure that will end up being very useful in the long run. Let's do our wishes right now. Hopefully we can get some good deals. I hope I have enough for all 45. We might not have enough to do all the wishes. Should have enough to do most of them, though. So what are we going to get? We're getting pretty lucky so far, but once we have to dig into those fives, it gets really bad really quickly. Three, okay. Still better than five. Please don't. Five. I'm gonna do this one to start. Oh man, 57. I mean, we have a lot of them, but you have to do a total of 45 wishes every day. Which is really expensive, because I only have a little more than one jam per wish. And yeah, a lot of the time you get lucky and they don't cost jam. But when they do cost jam, they generally cost a lot. This is, by the way, in case, well, obviously you saw. This is where it seems to me the best place to get these. The special building drops or whatever. Um... Obviously, there is other ways, but this definitely seems to be the best and easiest way to do it. It takes a while, as you can tell, but we're getting really lucky right now, which is 
giving me hope that, I mean, that lock can turn around really quickly is one thing you have to know, is that it really doesn't take long for you to get unlucky and have to do tons of fives and just be out of jam. Like this scenario, um, sure, I'll do this still. It is giving us back our coins, because we spent 60,000 on that clock tower and upgrading a one, so I'm not exactly against getting my coins back. Okay, this is good, except I'm running out of jelly beans now. Okay, one, not bad. This is looking pretty good, because we still have 50 left, and we're only now... Actually, we're still 25 away. We're not even halfway done. We're getting close to halfway done, these wishes. But while I finish these off, how has your day been today? My day's been pretty good. Um, still very early in the day, but pretty exciting. I'm excited to be back here with Cookie Run Kingdom. Been having lots of fun. Um... I need to catch up, because you guys are telling me, oh, I'm about to lap you in levels, and I 100% believe it, because obviously I have to wait, and sometimes waiting means it takes a while for me to catch up. My progress is obviously much slower, because I'm showing it all to you guys. Okay, that's it. I'm doing some of these, because we're running out of jelly beans at this point, not the other... Sure, that was bad. Um, yeah, we're actually going to run out of jelly beans, it looks like before jams at the I mean obviously if I wanted to I can probably do most of the jam ones. Um let's do that. Sugar like really it's the sugar cubes in the wood that I just have so much of that it just doesn't matter. I have quite a lot of axes too but you do go those are generally more important, all things considered. We'll need that one. Okay, four more. We definitely have enough for this. I'm doing these jams to finish off because Jelly beans are actually what we're running out of now. Okay, it's so final one. Pretty good. Got more of those legendary items. I don't think there's any more that we can build as of right now in the decor section and stuff. Pretty sure we have all of the simple or all of those done with. The yeah, upgrade cookie castle level two. So, um I think we're just gonna get into battling first of all, because there's always more stuff to do. We have our free gift and I'm sorry for free cookie spins, I think. Sorry if my voice sounds a little off. Um, it doesn't feel sore, but it does sound sore listening to it myself. Maybe not, maybe not to you guys, but it seems a bit sore to me. We got a cook- ooh, muscle cookie! He's really bad, but I kind of wanted him, because I do like him. And of course, I want to get every cookie, because who doesn't want every cookie? Still put- ooh, and back-to-back -back cookies! It's a duplicate, obviously, of strawberry, but still. Back-to-back -back cookies, that's lucky. Because the cookies aren't that common. Usually you just get sharded. Like that. Um, but that's pretty good, I gotta admit. Also, we're at 9,000 gems, so I'm gonna open up 10 more of these. We're sick at 6,000. I wanna have over 5,000 on me. Just in case, but we are gonna open them up here. At least one cookie. Blackberry cookie? Okay, she's not even in my party anymore, though. So that's not great. What's this one? Cherry cookie? Still not in my party, but I'll accept the cookies. Alchemist cookie. Okay, new cookie. I'll obviously accept that. That was pretty good, I think. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what's considered good or not. But that seemed pretty good. Um, What was I going to do? Right, cookies. You're going to go over here. Prestige the ones that we can. I think we might have... I did do the um, bounties the other day. So we sh should have enough. I'm not disappointing. Um, we should have enough to maybe upgrade a couple of skills as well. I think it was support and healing though, so not real damage stuff, but we are... Any magic we have, we might be able to, because obviously, because in almost all cases, epics better than rares, we're going to be using the epics. I'm still just promoting them because it's not that big of a coin cost, and I just like it, going for the collection. Even though there's an actual collection, but I like it anyways. Plus, I think it's useful for the, um the bonds. But anyways, you are officially going to be a part of our party, so can't promote you, but I think we can. Can we not upgrade your skill? No, we can, but only level 3. That's a bit low. So the rest of those will go towards upgrading her skill, but we did get some more of these. We can upgrade it once, and skill level can, can't exceed the cookies level. So, oh, we can level up the cookie, though. So that's not a big issue. Level up, we'll get all of them up to level 11 while we're here. And then I promise we're going to do lots of battles, okay? That's my promise. We are doing battles today. It will be a battle day. I hope. Um, 
I hope being pretty important there. And then Farmo. Can I just say, she's so helpful, like so ridiculously helpful. It's kind of insane because she just does, she just does so much for you. It's pretty, like overall, it's really, really helpful. Um, but I think that's it. So let's do some battles before it's too late. Except we have more gifts for. Look at I don't even know what to say honestly. Every time I check in, every day they're like, "Hey, here's some free stuff. Enjoy." Anyways, um, let's make some progress. I wanted to make it to 2-9, I think, it was my goal last time. We obviously didn't. My goal this time is to beat all of World 2, which I think ends at 2-14, which is a big deal and probably isn't doable. I'm not doing auto because auto just makes it that much more boring. Um, but I was doing auto earlier and it really did show that I'm not very smart with my abilities. So I may have learned something from auto. Not much, but something. And in case you're curious, what did I learn? More often than not, just using the ability is better than not using it. Saving definitely does have strategy to it. But in most cases, it really doesn't. Also, I think I mentioned it earlier, was trying to mention it earlier. That carrot farming cookie is so good. I know she's only rare. Oh, I can change my, my party. I'll do it after this. But her healing ability is... Like, here's the thing. Because C Custom Cookie, he's really good. He gives shield, he increases our defense and everything. Super useful. But he doesn't actually heal you. So in combo with the carrots, it's a really good survival thing. Or at least I found it to be a very good survival thing. Worked pretty well, though. Uh, what, what do you mean, try again? Why does it give you the option to try again and not move forward? Oh, right, because we have to clear some piece of skeleton, right? I think on the map it was like some giant thing of skeleton. How do we clear you? Yeah, 100%. It's two axes, I honestly don't care. A jelly worm. Is it him again? You again. Haven't I warned you? Flee. Ha, there's nothing scary about you. Hmm. You will regret neglecting me. I have a feeling we will, though. Just you wait. My friends promised to make me into a dragon. Now I must retire to carry on with my preparations. Farewell. What an annoying jelly worm. Yeah, I sort of get that too. Okay, we're gonna do this again, but we're actually editing our team this time. Sorry, you're not staying because we have our brand new epic. And of course we have to use our epic. More magic, whatever. Poison mushroom cookies. She looks really creepy. Huh, so many friends. I mean, I guess you can make any cookies seem creepy if you just use the right voice or something like that. What's her ability though? Is it good? I thought I activated it. That's weird. Oh, that's cool. So it slows them down. No idea how to use that properly, but that was really cool, regardless. Even if I used it improperly or whatever. It was a very cool effect. No idea how useful it'll be, but cool. I'm sure it's strong. I'm just gonna have to believe in the fact that it's an epic and that it's gonna be super strong. But we're going through these stages very, very easily. Ooh, ho again. Ah, don't you dare creep up on me like that again. Chili Pepper Cookie doesn't seem like herself in front of that cookie. Right, can you just keep being yourself? My, myself? Then hand over your valuables, now. It's nice to see such a lively company. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nice way to describe it. I've recalled my name, by the way. It's White Lily Cookie. She was one of the originals, right? Whoa, so all your memories are back? No, not yet. I've been wandering through the forest, seeking for the fragments, but I'm not quite done yet. The whole forest? Perhaps you can help us. We're after a big chalk or wareham brew with a hammer. A hammer? I remembered them. They've just passed this area. Really? Thanks. You have a good memory, White Lily Cookie. It would be great if we became friends. I'm sorry. I think I must spend more time alone, until we meet again. She's gonna be cool. I have a feeling she's gonna be helpful. Anyways, one more stage done. Continuing on our way. Yeah. You guys still promise that gems will become hard to get. I'm not sure if I believe you. No, no, you get 100 gems per stage. There are clearly lots of stages. And they keep giving me free gifts with thousands of gems. If they keep doing that, how do you expect it to actually be difficult? to get, like, how do you expect gems to be valuable if you give gems away free? 
Like, I'm, I know I've said this a few times now, but looking at all of their deals or whatever, I'm just thinking to myself, why is this the deal? You get that many gems for free every time they mess up and give you a free gift. To be fair, it might stop. I could be wrong. This is opening week and month and stuff, so they're giving tons of super good buffs and gear and all that stuff for free to be nice. Which is awesome, so I'm sure it will slow down. But to tell you the truth, once we get to the point of this game, because we're still... Because we're so early on, we're still in very, like, serious story mode. When we're no longer in story mode, I'll probably be doing a lot more off-camera, like grinding and that stuff. Chaka, where, Hambrood? Where are you? Hmm. Where do they go? Huh? Those cake monsters look like they've learned a new trick. Look out! Yeah, he looks raged. No idea if that actually worked properly. Yeah, he just looks very angry. He doesn't look like he learned some new special ability. He's just angry. Um, still going very easily, though. These stages really aren't that hard. I'm sure they will get hard, but they're not very hard. Was this the topping stage? 2-9? Oh yeah, this was the 2-9, so we unlock toppings now, right? I'm really interested in that. I have quite a few topping items or whatever. Toppings, yeah. Okay. Now select a cookie to equip the topping. Tap toppings. Are these like runes? These are totally like runes. Here we are. Let's select the first one. Damage resistance, 1.5%. All the information is presented here. Each topping grants its own bonuses, so use them wisely. Do you see those red numbers? If you upgrade the toppings, it will gain a bonus effect. You can equip several toppings of the same kind to activate the set effect. Now it's your turn to equip a topping. Oh, this is going to get so complicated. While we're here, let's try upgrading this one. And we upgrade with these things, which I have 106 of. When upgrading, when upgraded, the topping stats will increase as shown. Upgrading requires topping pieces. Here, use these coins. Of course, they give us coins. Marvelous, stupid you. I'm sure you will find upgrading toppings quite handy. I'm sure I will. Um. You know what, sure, let's level this thing up a little bit. Is that level 6 that got some new buff, right? Or is this level 5? Plus 5%. Last one, I think. Bonus effect. What's the bonus effect? Can we see? I feel very st oh, there's the X. So what does it do? Oh, it's level six. I'm upgrading it one more time. So I guess they get over up to level nine, or maybe only this one goes up to level nine. What's its bonus effect? Damage resistance one point four percent, of course. Okay, so how do we get more slots? Oh, unlocked it every couple cookie levels. Ten, twenty. So ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna go for one topping for our whole team then, I guess. Topping. HP, attack speed, damage resistance. We're gonna do attack speed. And I'm gonna upgrade all of them, if I can, to level 6. No idea if it's doable, because some of these seem more expensive than others. I wish- I, I can't really see the level very clearly. This the maximum. Wait, did we upgrade it to level 9? We upgraded the same one. I meant to upgrade this one, whatever. One, yeah, whatever. Upgrade chance, what does that mean? I'm, oh, is it less likely to be successful? Oh, that's cool. So this is taking it to level five. Failed. And it increases the chance of success if it fails. Successful, okay, so I have no idea what level this thing is. Okay, succeed. This is the maximum upgrade. So that one only went up to level 6. So I guess different ones are like stronger or weaker than others. Okay, whatever. I think that worked pretty well. Um, we still have HP and damage resistance. We're gonna give you a damage resistance and then we are going to um, upgrade the last one. I guess we're gonna give the last one to um, Probably Farmer Cookie. She seemed like she died more often than the other one. I have no idea if we have- I guess I'm just gonna take this to max level, because it seems like their max levels aren't that high. Yep, max upgrade. And then the last one, not to you. So we don't even have that many of them yet, okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Farmer Cookie, because she seemed more likely to die. No offense, Farmer Cookie. Don't take any offense by this, but you get much lower health, so we're gonna give you bonus health. Maybe this is a total waste, I have no idea. I just know I had like, a, I still have 43 of them left, so it can't be that big of a waste. 
Anyways, let's keep on going. Um, 2-10. So, at this rate, we're actually doing pretty good with our goal. We have this, then four more stages. So, five stages to do. I feel like if we keep it up at this rate, we can probably do those in time. Though, I'm sure it'll still end up being a long video. That's... That just happens. There's no point trying to avoid that. Today's Saturday, by the way. I haven't mentioned that yet. Saturdays are really great. I'm excited for the day. I don't really have any plans in particular. Tell you the truth, last night, I know I mentioned I would, but I played a lot of Minecraft. Like, a lot, a lot of Minecraft. Um, okay, that's not fair. I didn't play too, too much. Ridiculous amount. I played for like two something hours. Still a long time, but nothing too crazy. And I explored the Aether, which is pretty cool. Thought took a while, but eventually I found and fought um, two Valkyrie Queens. They were pretty tough. Um, I did technically have to choose the fights, because I died and just teleported back there. But I mean, it's included in the mod pack. I'm considering it not cheese, but sort of is. I mean, I don't know. I kind of just like the adventure part. It was really exciting, though. Beforehand, I had to do a ton of mining, though, to get a repairing station. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, by the way, I've been playing the Rad, aka Roguelike Adventure and Dungeoning Minecraft mod pack, just on my own time. Um, it's been pretty fun so far, still quite early on in it. But I did some mining and killed some Valkyrie bosses in the Aethel. You have no idea what that is. It's not that important, it's a different game, but it, it was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with that. If you guys do play some Minecraft, or if you have played the mod pack, cool, let me know. It'd be nice to know if you guys have. Um, because I'm having a lot of fun with it. I, okay, boss. Is this the Chocolate Warehand boot, or is this a different guy? This is the guy with the hammer. Like, this is totally the Chocolate Warehand boot, right? I think so. That was Chocolate Warehand boot, right? I'm almost positive it was. Let's see. Was it Chaka Warehound Boot? That's such a weird name to say. Blah, blah, blah. After, if we do complete this, though, I'll probably be upgrading buildings off camera to deal with our level 2 castle because I have a feeling. Ooh, suspicious cookies back. Explain this to me. How is it possible that a bunch of underbaked cookies keep interfering with our plans? Sorry, Master. We make hammer strong. We revenge. You better. If you keep failing, You'll leave me no choice but to punish you. Now tell me, are you making progress? Don't worry, Master. Best work coming, very soon. Good. Keep on producing bear jellies, understood? Yes, Master. Understand, Master. I love talking his voice. Like, he's just... It's really funny how he talks. It's, it's really the best way to describe it. Mandolin cookie. I don't know defeat. Uh, I honestly, I don't know how... I'm not sure I'm liking Sugar Cookie that much. She's not bad by any means, but she's not seeming too, too great. Um, but I kind of like my rares, because I, as far as I know, I don't know of too many support-based epic cookies, so I'm actually pretty happy with my team right now. I'm sure I will change it later on, but really the only one I can really see myself switching out right now is probably Sugar Cookie, because... I don't love her very much. She's not bad, but she doesn't seem too great. So that thing actually is health. The, like, beast or whatever that she summons, it has, like, a health bar. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. When in doubt, just use the carrot ability. That's what I'm learning here, because it just gives bonus health, so there's no reason not to use it. If you have it, just use it, because worst case scenario, you're still healing. These stages are still so easy, by the way. Let me know, by the way, if you have any tips or suggestions about the, um, piece of, what are they called? Toppings. Let me know. Is there a topping I should go for? Is it dumb to spend all of mine on upgrades? Like, should I save the topping pieces, like, upgrade items for certain toppings? Or is there certain ones I should use with certain characters? Or just general information about them. Feel free to let me know. I will always accept it. Second last stage until we're done World 2, I think. I think we'll be done World 2. And then we get to upgrade our cookie castle to level 2, and do tons of building, and it'll be so great. I think I'm probably going to have to do some expansion after this. So if we do end up doing more fights after we beat this world, it'll probably be mostly doing some expansions. Because I think we did one of them last time, and I think there's still one, maybe two left, that require, like, fights to expand. And then there's tons that just need, like, 
using axes and stuff, which I have. I've just been not doing. I should probably do that, though. So I might do that in between this video and next time. Um, but I'm not entirely sure yet, honestly. Land wasn't an issue, but then we just built that clock tower, and the clock tower is very huge, so it might be an issue now. Okay, thank you very much. On to the next stage. This is the last one in the world, I think. This is going to be a big boss, isn't it? I feel like this is going to be important. So far, by the way, as far as I know, in case you're wondering, there was at least six worlds. This is the final stage of world two, I think. So we still have a long ways to go. And I know there's a lot of content, I think, more multiplayer based. Once you actually beat basically the majority of the game. I find it crazy still that some of you guys are actually getting close to, if not have, beaten the game. Aren't you guys nervous that you're going to run out of content? I'm honestly curious. Obviously, I'm doing this slowly. I have at least, like, two or three months of game content left. And I'm sure I'm going to have tons of fun with whatever comes after. But I feel like if I were you guys, I'd be a bit more nervous about running out of content. Because the game is new, yeah. So there is tons of stuff, and I'm sure there will be plenty of updates quite regularly. But it's not- they can't keep up. Really, that's how games are designed. They're really good. They try to update as often as they can, but they can't keep up with how much people can play. Because, you know, people have a lot more t People can play games a lot more than they generally can work on creating one. Anyways, we meet White Lily Cookie again. Does she remember now? Look here. Isn't it beautiful? A fallen dragon's carcass has become one with the soil and grass. Yeah, I guess. Have you found your memories? No, but I don't think I'll ever stop my wandering, after all. This world is full of curiosities. What do you think will happen if I enter the waters of this lake? No, you can't! Cookies get all soggy in water. Hmm. She's like an unknowing child. I want to know more about our world. I might even discover another kingdom. Then come with us! But I'm afraid my fragrance will make you uncomfortable. No problem. All cookies might be different, but we're all friends. Then I... May I join you? This way I'll be able to learn more. Yes! Now we're friends with White Lily Cookie! Hooray! Is she an epic? If so, you might be joining our team. If not, you're cool. And you're cool, but you're probably not joining my team if you're not an epic. Is that the end of World 2? I think it was, though. Or is, though. I don't know what I'm saying. What happened? No! 2-15? That wasn't the end, really. I mean, not that I'm that disappointed or anything. I like the local ground. So solid. Perfect for jumping. This must be Dragonbone Custard... This must be Dragonbone. Custard Cookie the Third. What? Dragonbone? This dragon was as big as this whole forest. If we keep following the bones, we'll see where the forest ends. Okay, never mind. 2-18 is the end of this stage. Whatever. We have some rewards to collect. We have some gems. We could do the bounties, but I'm not going to do that yet. I might do that off camera, because the bounties aren't all that interesting. Lots of gems, as per usual. See, like, this is what I'm saying. You just get so, so, so many gems, so very quickly. Stamina Jelly Rewards, more gems. Um, okay, let's head home, because we can upgrade the Cookie Castle now, which is pretty exciting. I mean, we do have some things to collect, things being made, and so on and so forth. Don't that make more stuff? Okay, we're gonna reset all these, then we're gonna do some testing. Actually, I don't want to do that yet, so whatever, waste of that. We can upgrade our cookie castle, and I'm for sure doing it. You know I am. 5,000 coins, how long does it take? 5 minutes? Yeah, no. We're skipping 10 minutes. Cookie castle level 2! Bubblegum bird. Chirp, I heard the rumors. This kingdom has grown a lot. Chirp, chirp. Who's that? It's me, the bubblegum bird. I tend this bear jelly balloon. Chup. There's a dock here. Chup. But it's long broken. Chup, chup. We're gonna rebuild, don't we? Chup. I, that's gonna get annoying, I can tell. We built the balloon deck. Or the balloon dock. And I'll bring my bear jelly balloon here. Chup. We'll see it done. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Restore the bear jelly balloon. Upgrade cookie castle. Awesome. Is this the bear jelly balloon? Restore 10 minutes. Um, skip. This is why I love that I have all those skip things. They're very helpful. Balloon dock is now available. How do you walk? So now that we're probably not doing more battling because there's going to be a lot of base stuff now. Chup, thanks for rebuilding the dock. 
I can already see many balloons come and go. Chirp. Awesome. Can't wait to hop on and fly. This is so fun. Okay, how does it work? Uh, not every day you see a real balloon. Jump jump in the basket and you will be able to explore faraway lands. Um, all aboard. Brave explorers. Cookies with better upgrades will bring back better rewards. But alas, if you can't assemble a full crew, the expedition cannot happen. Explorers can't produce anything. It is wise to finish all production before sending them off. Okay, so I think... Do I want to use just my best cookies that own my party then? Basic rewards. Oh, so you, this is how you get toppings. Land of Little Big Dreams, and you unlock different areas. I guess once you... Okay, never mind. I think there are eight worlds in total. Seems to be the case. Okay. But right now we only have this because this is the only place we finished. Sure, we're going to stop this. Cookies are exploring. Okay, so that's interesting. That's just another thing to do. Oh, so much is happening already. Place a carpentry shop. I will. Don't worry. You. To upgrade you, zero three 3 10 Yeah, you're going to take a while. Claim, first of all. And then I'm going to upgrade the fountain. Because the fountain seems honestly like one of the best things about this. Okay. I'm doing... I'm starting some expansions. Because we totally need to do some ex expansions. Like, 100%. Okay, we're skipping these. I, it's probably a waste, but I still have quite a few of these skip tokens left. I'm gonna use them. Because I feel like we need to explain. We just do. So, with the, my remaining one of those... And then, do I have five one minutes? I have 17 one minutes. Four of them. I'm gonna finish that, then we're gonna start removing this stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to get some more axes now, but that's not a big problem. Fountain has been upgraded. That's awesome. It automatically maxes out. Wow. That's pretty good. Hey, another one minute boost. Pretty good. And now we can get the pieces or whatever from that, so that's good. This is bounties. We might deal with that later. Okay. How many of these can I do? I think I can remove them all. I have plenty of cookies doing the work. This also does give, like, wooden stuff. But I think I'm now going to have to do some mass restocking of axes and that stuff. Move the pebbles, the flowers. I do like that you just do this stuff like this. Because it doesn't take long and you just get some bonus loot and things like that. It's quite exciting. Or well, not exciting, but just... It's just nice. Okay, I'm doing some layout things, I think. Move you over there. I feel like it's better to have the tables over there next to the jammery and stuff. Okay. You over there, and then I need one more. You, I'm gonna move there, because I also want the clock tower in the center. I feel like that'll be more fun. Okay. That's done. Um, we can upgrade you. You're really important. We're starting with that. That's a big one. We're skipping you, because we want to skip the upgrades, obviously. Um, I can just use ten of these, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, there's still so much stuff to do. What does it cost to upgrade the houses? Okay, we're gonna upgrade the houses, I guess. Um, I'm probably gonna need to get some more coins after this. So we can use three of them on this to finish that one. The other house we can't upgrade yet. And we're quirky level 12, that's not that surprising. There's just so much stuff happening. So we can build one more quirky house. What's new here? Did we unlock new areas? We did, okay. Do you have something big? No. Does the witches and ghosts? It does. It does have a landmark. Plus 3% crit chance. That's useful. We need one more of those and 70,000 coins. That might happen. Probably won't, but it might. And Blade Magic has another one for rail trading time. Don't Can't use that yet, but those seem useful. Oh, so many things to do. Which is expected. Don't get me wrong, but it's very exciting still. We have our carpentry hut or whatever. Start working on that. Um, place four cookie houses. Yes, we've done that. Okay, this is a lot of building. I'm probably going to end up having to do most of this off camera, is the truth of the matter. Um, so by next time, we'll probably I'll probably have upgraded any buildings I can. And probably have done some, maybe do some more expansions, we'll see. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This might have been a short or a long one, I don't actually know. 
But please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day it's super nice and I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful Saturday. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!